हेलो क्लास फोर वेलकम बैक टू दी ऑनलाइन कंप्यूटर क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड हैव इन्जॉयड अ लॉर्ड योर समर वेकेशन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर टू जी यू आई ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम डेस्कटॉप मैनेजमेंट किड्स इन क्लास थ्री यू हैव रीड अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस क्लास ऑल्सो वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस वट इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम किड्स एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ प्रोग्राम that acts as an interface between the software and the computer hardware it is an integrated set of specialized program that are used to manage overall resources and operation of the computer kids here you are able to see a picture of a bulb wire and a switch a bulb is lit when we switch on the switch but the switch and the bulb are connected through a wire here also between the computer hardware and the computer user operating system works like a wire a computer system is operable when only a operating system is installed in it kids in fact operating system you can say a specialized software that controls and monitors the execution of all other programs that reside in the computer including application programs and other system software okay here you are also able to see some examples of operating system first one is windows second one is apple android linux okay now we will discuss some objectives of operating system so what is the first one it make a computer system convenience to use in an efficient manner an operating system makes a computer to be used in a very efficient manner suppose you want to add 1 plus 1 it will give 2 when only then there is a operating system it doesn't have its own brain operating system is this own brain of the computer okay it act as an intermediary between the hardware and its user and making it easier for the user to access and use other resources computer doesn't include only the cpu and monitor and keyboard and mouse it include all other devices such as joystick printer so an operating system make other devices also connected to the computer and make it a one system okay kids next is to manage the resources of a computer system same all the other uh, softwares and hardwares are connected through a operating system only so there are other objectives also such as to keep track of who is using which resource granting resource request kids it means that if you are using uh, internet in your computer then you uh, it your operating system which is installed in your computer will gives you the record that, that uh, when you have used some internet data who have used for how many time it have used for how much time it have used okay now we will discuss kids the functions of operating system kids this is the most important topic you have to note down on to your copy also okay first one is memory management kids an operating system keeps track of the primary memory in class 3 we have read about primary memory what is a primary memory there are two types of primary memory one is ram and rom so to uh, operating system keeps track on both ram and rom next processor management before discussing this processor management i want to let you know that processor is what called cpu the main thing of the computer so let's see operating system allocates the processor that is the cpu to process and de allocates processor when it is no longer is required when you switch off the computer system the operating system de allocates your processor next is device management this is the one of the most important function of operating system as it keeps track on all the devices all the devices it means it 
you can say that operating system is also called a input output controller that decides which process gets the device when and for how much time okay now file management an operating system allocates and de allocates the resources and decides who gets the resources kids it's also you know um controls the cache memory that we have read in our previous classes about cache memory okay so it uh, uh, decides when the cpu requires the uh, data stored in the cache memory and when it not required okay now security it prevents uh, unauthorized access to programs and data by means of passwords and similar other techniques for example kids uh, you have your pencil box or you have your favorite color set you decide which people get access to it if you decide whether you 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 share that color set to your friend or not so likewise uh, operating system provides a password facility to protect your uh, important files and uh, documents okay now coordination between other software and users kids it keeps coordination and assignment of compilers interpreters assemblers and other software to the various user of the computer system okay other than this we have other functions of operating system like job accounting control over system performances interaction with the operators etc and etc now let's come over to the next topic is windows 10 kids windows 10 is also a graphical user interface operating system we have read about types of operating system in our previous class that is in class 3 so let's start kids windows 3 10 sorry windows 10 is the extended version of windows 8.1 it is released by the great company that is microsoft okay it is released by microsoft on uh, 2015 Many company have also uh, appreciated Windows 10 because it is a desktop oriented interface. It means that if you want to uh, easily do your work, then uh, everything is available in the desktop only. Kids, using this interface, user can easily customize, that is can change the wallpaper, screen, desktops, can easily set the time, date, etc. So, this is a totally a uh, desktop oriented version of windows now come up to desktop so you are able to see a picture of a desktop in your screen see this is the screen that we uh, see when we switch on the computer this is the picture of a desktop now let's discuss what is the a uh, desktop the windows desktop is the main screen of the operating system okay here we can have an access to an array of tools like the start menu tasks bar and other icons the main components of desktop are icons wallpaper task bar start button and start menu wallpaper is we also called desktop background picture okay so windows desktops has also some basic features and it is the one uh, and its major part is taskbar okay now we will discuss icons so kids icons are simply a graphic representation of an application or a file when you open your uh, computer system the first screen that appear in our screen is the desktop okay upon that you will see some little little graphical pictures that little little graphical pictures are the icons to open or access an icon you need just need to double click on it okay so in a gui os that is graphical user interface operating system all the programs files and folder are in form of pictures that are called icons kids now we will see how to add an icon okay so first of all we will right click on the blank area of the desktop then we will click on the new after that sorry after that we will click on the shortcut then this dialog box will open we will click on browse 
kids you are now able to see lots of options like libraries home group computer where, whichever you want to create shortcut for just select it i will select just a second i will select this any desk okay then i will click on okay then next then at last finish see this icon which has been created is the shortcut okay so in this way we have to add an icon now kids we will discuss what is a desktop background this is simply an image that appears on at the back of your screen you are able to see that there is a picture of desktop background it this scenery is the picture of a desktop background okay kids most computers have their pre selected desktop background but you can change it any image you want if you want to put your own picture then you can put it also okay kids now we will see how to change the desktop background picture currently there is a landscape in my desktop background okay now let's see how i will change it first of all i will click in the blank area of my desktop background from that i will select personalize option you are able to see now the whole personalization option from here desktop background i will select this wait a second okay kids you are now able to see lots of desktop background pictures i will select any one of them to change the picture okay i will select this one now see my desktop background picture is now changed okay. so kids till now we have studied the operating system its objectives and functions we studied about windows 10 desktop and icons and how to add icons and how to change the desktop background till now we will study this much only in the next class we will continue later till then bye bye take care